thanks for joining us for these encouraging words together. It's great to have you with us today. You know, I believe with all my heart that no matter how we're interacting in this moment, whether you're watching this on Channel 900 at Friendship Village, or maybe you are one of the folks that are joining us online through YouTube or Facebook, however uh, or whenever we stop and pause and open our hearts to the Lord, as we set aside the emotion and the activity of the day, and we purposely come before the Lord with an open heart, trusting in his word, he meets us in that moment. You know, the flow of God's love is constant and continual. It never stops. Nothing can get in the way of his love. But when we pause long enough to focus on him, it's then perhaps that we experience that love in a fresh way, that we become aware of it with a new sense of consciousness as we purposely pay attention and open our hearts to the Lord. Thank you for joining us. This is our moment to receive God's love afresh. I want to talk to us for just a moment about the love of God. Of course, probably the most famous chapter in all the Bible about the love of God is in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. The Greek word used for love there is the word agape, which is kind of this idea of an unconditional love, a love you could never earn, but a love that's given simply because God chooses to do so. He's decided that he wants to love us. It's not a love that's based on our conduct. It's not a love based on our performance or how well any of us think uh, we should or should not deserve it. None of that matters. God loves us simply because he chooses, because he made us, because we belong to him, because he calls us into relationship with him. He desires us to know him in his fullness, that we might be whole, that we might be full of peace and joy. That's how God loves us. And that chapter, 1 Corinthians 13, gives all these qualities of love and the love of God and what this unconditional love from God is really like. In verse 7, the New Living Translation of the Bible says it this way. Love, talking about this God kind of love, this love that comes from God, love never gives up. It never loses faith. It's always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Isn't that a wonderful truth about the love of God? It never gives up. There's never a moment when God says, Bert, you've gone too far. You've made too many mistakes. You've fallen short too many times. I no longer love you. Doesn't happen. Can't happen. The very nature of God is to love us with an enduring, unfailing love that's greater than any obstacle, that's greater than any failure, that's greater than any mistake. Because he, again, isn't loving us on the basis of performance, but on the basis of his goodness and his decision and determination to love us. He never gives up. That kind of love never loses faith. God never looks at us and says, what am I going to do with you? How much longer am I going to have to put up with you? Are you kidding me? Look at the mistakes you've made. He never does that. He never loses faith. You know why? Because the Lord's faith is not in you or in I. It's in him. And he never fails. And he's greatly confident that his goodness, as we open our hearts to him, can do a transforming work. You see, that's what God's love produces. It's, uh, it not only is his decision to love us no matter what, but his love has a transforming effect on our lives when we open up our hearts to him and choose to love him in return. He fills us with his presence. He fills us with his love that, um, that we might give it back to him and share it with those around us. And in the process, we're changed. We're made new more and more. Over time, as we give God thanks for his love, as we recognize his love in our life, as we invite him to have his way in us, as we purpose in our hearts to love him to the best of our ability, he produces a love in us that changes us from the inside out. The scripture says that this kind of love is always hopeful. It's because it never gives up on us. It has confidence that the power of God's love is enough to produce real change, real breakthrough in our lives. 
And the end product of this kind of love says it endures through every circumstance. That is phenomenal news for you and I. You know, it doesn't take very long in life for us to figure out that we're not going to do this perfectly. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to think the wrong things. We're going to say the wrong things. We're going to take the wrong actions from time to time. But as we walk with the Lord, as we submit ourselves to him, there is a sense in which he changes our character. We grow, we learn. Like any child that grows and learns, you know, um, when my when my children, my, my oldest, I'm sorry, let me say it again. My youngest is just about to graduate from high school in a few days. And as I record this, it's um, the uh, second week of May. And uh, we're looking forward to this weekend and celebrating with our youngest as he graduates from from high school. But when he was young and first taking his steps, learning how to walk, moving from a crawling position to a walking position, you know, he wasn't steady on his feet. He would fall from time to time. He would take a few steps, he'd wobble, he'd sit right back down again. And of course, that's true with all of our children, right? And in those moments, we don't scold them. We don't say, what's the matter with you? Take your steps. We don't get mad and say, get over here already. No, we don't do that. We offer nothing but encouragement. We stand there with a smile and arms open wide, say, get up. You can do it. We're here. We'll catch you. And there is a sense here very much in which that is how our Heavenly Father is with us. He knows we're frail. He knows we're going to make mistakes. But he stands before us with an open heart and open arms beckoning us forward. He calls us up to a higher level. And it's not just in a scolding way, in a commanding way, but in an inviting way, in an encouraging way, with the promise that as he loves us and as he pours out his love to us, we will find from him hope, strength, and a sense of perseverance. You know, we all have moments in life where we face real hardships. And we wonder sometimes, how will we go on? It happens through the death of a friend or a loved one, a spouse. And we think, what happens now? It's such a life change. We had all these moments last year during the coronavirus, many times when we felt alone and isolated. And we thought, how will we ever get through this? But when we hold on to the truth that God loves us no matter what the circumstance, and as we choose to love him in return, his love produces in us a heart change. And suddenly we find peace in the midst of a storm. We find hope in the midst of daunting and difficult odds. And what we find is our hope doesn't have to depend on circumstance. It only has to depend on the goodness of our God. And he is good all the time. He loves you today with an unfailing love, a love that never gives up, that never loses faith, that is always hopeful, a love that endures in every circumstance. Boy, that is reason to rejoice today. Let's come before the Lord for a moment of prayer. Let's give him thanks for this kind of love. And let's ask for his help that he's, as he pours out that love into us, that we would be quick to give it away and share it with others. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come before you today. We thank you for a love that is consistent, dependable, faithful, that never quits. And I thank you, Lord, that every person listening today, interacting with this video, however they're doing that, Lord, I thank you that each and every single one of them is divinely loved by you. We invite the transformation that your love brings. Fill us with your hope. Fill us with your peace. Give us the strength to endure. May we trust you for better days yet ahead. Whatever those better days look like, and maybe they only look like the fact that you are with us no matter what. May the hope and certainty of that fill us with a perfect peace today. Thank you for a love that never ceases. We give you thanks and praise and honor. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Oh, take hope in the love of the Lord today and share it with somebody else. Thanks for tuning in. 
here at Friendship Village. We're doing our best to show you these videos three times a day. I know I probably sound like a bro broken record saying this, but there are always folks perhaps tuning in for the very first time. These videos are new at 4.30 in the afternoon, Monday through Friday. They repeat at 8 o'clock at night and then 8 o'clock in the morning. On Sundays, you're welcome to join us for worship right here at Friendship Village. Currently, those services are at 10.45 in the theater, and uh, we hope that you can come and join us right there. If you're watching these videos online, feel free to share them with someone else. Let them be a, a way of encouraging uh, others. You could do that on Facebook or by sending them as direct links to friends and loved ones. May the love of God fill their hearts today too and bring encouragement. Also, if you're watching online, you can subscribe to these videos by clicking on my face right here in this little circle, or you can click right here on the box to see all the videos in our history. God bless you today. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you next time.